Hey guys, I have another tutorial for you today. I decided to have a little more fun and yeah, just go a little further artistically with the eyes and yeah, just have fun, you know? <laughs> so, if you wanna see how this look is done, it's like a cut crease, I don't know what the technical name for it is. I just know it's like some kind of cut crease with a gradient going on. Yeah, keep watching. Okay guys, so we are using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette again and here is my favorite concealer by Maybelline and we are using primer today from Wet n Wild their photo focus eyeshadow primer I'm also using this lip uh, liquid lipstick from Be Hue and a lip liner uh, my NYC liquid eyeliner and the balm mascara here are all the brushes I used listed out for you. Alright, let's begin. Eye primer. And let's pat it on. Put it back. And now concealer. Apply it on the lid. Pat it down. Now put that one away. We start with the pencil. Actually, this is a precision brush from BH Cosmetics. And our palette. We're going to start with red ochre. And here I'm going above the line that everyone has in their eyes. So we're creating the gradient. We're starting with red ochre and then realgar, I think it's called. <laughs> And uh, burnt orange is the next color. So we are going from darkest to lightest. And then golden ochre. I'm working it all the way down. So to find your crease, you wanna look down, point the mirror up and look down so you can see where to do, where to draw your, your crease line. And it's above your actual line that you have when you open your eyes there's like a crease on your eyelid okay so back to red ochre and we're just intensifying and bringing it out and back to real gar so we just follow the pattern burnt orange and now with her blending brush Blending those colors. Blend, blend, blend. That was slightly annoying. <laughs> Putting that one away. And now with our concealer brush. And I like this one from BH Cosmetics. It's very pointy, sort of pointy. Concealer. To use them together. And now we're going to sharpen that crease. Now, I don't know if you can see where I have that wrinkle. Well, I'm above the wrinkle because you want to create the crease where the hollow of your eye is actually. So, or on the bone, I would say. It's hard to explain. But whenever you look down on the mirror and you see the shadow, that's where you want it. So we're just sharpening it up and adding more concealer because we're going to need it. Putting that away, and now back to our precision brush. That is such a hard word to say for me. And our palette. Back to red ochre. So we're gonna do some more intensifying. And don't worry about that fallout. You can always just brush it away later.
Okay. Now with Rio Gar, right next to red ochre, and we are just touching the line. Get as close as you need to the mirror. Burnt orange. Doing the same thing, and I'm bringing it, bringing it up all the way, touching the eyebrow. Now with golden ochre. Also bring it up towards the eyebrow and the bridge of the nose, which you know is becoming a classic for me. <laughs> All right, let's put that one away and get this shader brush. And we're using Tempera, which is all blurry. Can't see it, but that will be our brow bone highlight. Back with our blending brush to blend that line because you don't want a line between the highlight and the actual eyeshadows. So we're going back with red ochre and this time we are switching it up. We are starting that in the inner corner. And I'm just going up to where the wrinkle on my eyelid is. <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. Back to real gar, following the same pattern, only the opposite way. And working that color. So you will need a brush like this. And this one's from BH Cosmetics, like I said before. It is very inexpensive. I think it's like three dollars and change and it's vegan It's awesome Synthetic and I love it And it is called the precision brush. I'm pretty sure that's the name for this one Okay, yellow ochre at the end Just blending them and Darkening that line And now with a liner brush, now this might be a little bit tougher to do because you are using a liner and I'm just remarking that line with concealer because I wanted to sharpen it and to prepare it because I am applying another eyeshadow right on top. This does take more of a steady hand because you just don't want it to go everywhere, you know? And that's why having a thin eyeliner brush like this, this is actually a painter's brush, and now it's gone, works best for me. In my experience, I love painter's brushes. They just are more precise sometimes. Now we're applying tempera right on top of that concealer, and notice I'm letting it just kind of fall. It's okay. That can be fixed. You don't need to be perfectionists. We just gotta be patient and know how to fix our mistakes sometimes, which is something I do. <laughs> so see, I'm using the, the same colors to red ochre, now real gar to resaturate and fix wherever tempera fell. And just re-darkening. And there we go. You have your gradient. And let's put that away. Now to clean the fallout, you just use a brush and sweep it away. Putting that one away. Bye-bye. And now we need eyeliner. So I did go pretty ham on this eyeliner. This one, I brought it all the way back. As you can see, it is almost touching the tail <laughs> of my eyebrow. I wanted it to be very dramatic because it just goes with this look. So what you're doing is you're drawing a triangle on the corner of your eye. Bye-bye. <laughs> now with this smudging brush that's also from BH Cosmetics, I'm going into Cypress, I think it is called. And then Burnt Orange. Well, the name is on there for you so you can read it the shader brush and back to tempera to kind of blend those colors underneath so it doesn't look too crazy down there bye bye now we're getting a mascara and as always coating those top lashes and coating the bottom lashes and make it disappear Okay, now for lip liner, this one is from Beautique, which I bought at Sally's. And 
lining her eyes and now we need our liquid lipstick there it is and just filling the lips as usual I love this color and this formula is amazing it is a bit on the pricey side for me I think they're like $18 each but they are so worth it now with a blush brush and my BH Cosmetics Pride Prejudice Zombies palette. I love this blush in this palette. And you see me use it a lot because I love it. Yeah. There's the look. Enjoy. Okay, guys. Well, that is it for this look. I hope you enjoyed that tutorial and you like the way I have been playing around with my edits. Just want to make it more fun. I used to think very like instructional, like people have to like just, I don't know. <laughs> and, for, and I tend to forget to add the fun part of me, like the more my personality and creativity into things. And I just tend to be like one, two, three, four, five. And I'm like, no, I need to add something cool to this. Anyhow, I'm just going off on a rant. <laughs> I hope you like this cut crease gradient look, the result, and if you're feeling froggy, try it out, have some fun. If you don't like it, erase it. I personally have a hard time with these because my face is not symmetrical, not perfectly anyway, and this eye tends to droop a little more than this one, so it tends to create a little bit of a struggle for me, so that's why I don't really do these kind of looks a lot because <laughs> I don't want to you know draw attention to the fact that my eyelids a little <laughs> lazy <laughs> anyhow don't forget to give my video the thumbs up come on you rock stars <laughs> give me those thumbs up and subscribe if you're not already part of the makeup artist me makeup lovers yeah so I hope you really enjoyed that and until next time Rock on.